I think DayZ can be a good game. But the guy needs to get his shit together. What's his name? Rocket? Yeah. Oh, the Blackwood. This is gonna be fun. Okay. I already got a boss, which I like. Sharp Chowls. Are there two bosses in here? I think, yep. Battle Burn and Sharp Jowls. Alright. You guys need to get Leap Slammed to death. Oh, he uses Puncture. That's not good. I need to kill you. Is this guy? Alright, oh, he's just a regular boss. Of course, nothing. Useless. Yeah, these guys that use Puncture, that... Oh, that is nasty, nasty damage. The region needs to be strong to avoid... What the hell? All these things. Devourers. I like Destroyers from Guild Wars. It's more annoying because Puncture is so good. I can't remember what I was just talking about, but I want to talk about RNG in games and how, like, uh... This game... You know, you get loot and stuff because it's a dungeon crawler, obviously, but I wish there was a way to just, like, upgrade your gear. I know there's, like, vendor recipes or something, but I haven't looked into that. There's a waypoint, thank God. So I haven't really looked into that sort of thing, and I kind of wish there was... Because I'm stuck with the same weapon that I've had. I mean, what level is this? Level 30? So I've had this weapon. I've out-leveled it by 13 levels now, and I'm still using it because I haven't found anything better. That at least provides more DPS without sacrificing some of the resistances. Because what does it have? It has a couple of res 19 lightning resistance, all those bonuses on it. I haven't found anything better yet, and so I think that's kind of. There should be a way to kind of circumvent that. And what I liked about the first Borderlands is that it, it turns out. Uh, well, the first Borderlands is one of my favorite games of all time, and I just got it because it was on sale on PSN, actually. And so I just got it because I've heard good things about it, and then I played the living crap out of it, bought it again for PC, and I played the living crap out of it there. So uh, it's definitely easily one of my favorite games of all time. And the thing is, in that game, it seemed like the vendors actually had good loot. So if you, you know, if you were feeling a little weak, you couldn't always, you know, restart the game a couple times, and you could get some decent loot from the vendors, you know, uh, you know, the New Haven run or whatever, uh, I can't remember all the runs there, used. the Old Haven run, that's what it was, and you can get a couple uh, great weapons there, all these things I can't stand. But what you could do is you could do all these runs and eventually you'd end up with good gear. And so that's something I really liked because you never felt too weak. Like there were certain points where you were like, wow, I could use some better gear, but it never, never lasted for that long, you know? And in this game, what I'm starting to experience is that as I'm getting into this, the uh, higher difficulties, I'm I'm pretty tanky because as you guys saw, I just handled that whole freaking group of uh, that whole army at the little camp over there. But I don't have the DPS really. Is there another forest? Oh, looks like I already went in. Coming from Fire Trap because that's pretty damn strong. I. This is not where I just was, is it? No. See, now these guys are level 43, so I don't even know if I'm going to be... Oh, I remember this. This is the bandit stuff. I don't know if I should be here. Anyway, so Borderlands... Borderlands did it right, I think. You always had some good loot. And then this game feeling that as I get into the higher difficulties it's not doing so well. Maybe I'm just not doing, maybe I'm not farming right or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to go in there just yet. I need to find the other place. Maybe this way? I don't know. Let's go this way. Uh, but another thing, and so I was expecting Borderlands 2 to have the same thing, but Borderlands 2, their loot seems so much worse. And especially the thing that really pissed me off was that it seems like they nerfed my two favorite weapons, the shotguns and the assault rifles. So, uh, in Borderlands 2, those weapons both pretty much suck from what I've been playing. I beat the whole game once with my friends on PSN, and I have a PC, and I was playing through it by myself. 
and it still feels like it's just too weak and everything and the the shotguns especially piss me off because everything takes like multiple rounds every one shot takes multiple rounds and yes that's a balancing factor blah 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 who the fuck cares but honestly if you're playing a single player game I feel like the point of the single player game is to be as overpowered as humanly possible and uh, Borderlands 2 just didn't I mean you know you can make the argument for difficulty and whatever, but I mean, essentially every RPG, you want to become that ultimate, freaking no one can touch you beast. And Borderlands 2 just never let that happen. Not to mention, I feel like it had so many little uh, things that I didn't like about it, like the quest system. I feel like one quest in Borderlands 2 would have been multiple in Borderlands 1, so you would have gotten a lot more rewards and a lot more. Uh, possible chances at better loot in uh, Borderlands 1. So that's something that I don't really, uh, didn't really like. But you know, what's done is done. I hear they're making Borderlands 3, and I heard the DLC is not that bad, so maybe once I, uh, once I get a better computer, I'll look back into Borderlands 2, maybe try out some of the DLC. Yeah, sorry, I hate to wake you up with a sword in the mouth, but... I'm sure you will do the same. Yep, yep, yep. Why can't these guys just stand in my fire? Alright, you need to take a heavy strike. Oh yes, the lag. The lag is real. Yep, frenzy. Three. A poignard. It's bolder. I didn't kill you. Come on. These punctures doing way less because I feel like I have a lot of life and a lot of uh, regen nowadays. So that's good. But yeah, so that was my little rant about RNG and Borderlands. And uh, RNG was probably what single handedly crushed Mass Effect 3 multiplayer for me because that multiplayer was honestly fantastic, but I just do not have the time to open up those fucking packs over and over. And then get freaking lights on my character models. Like, I don't need that. I need weapons. I need new characters, not lights on my existing character. Like, come on. That's retarded. They, they can do the RNG thing, because I know some people are into that, like the people that still buy Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I don't understand. But what you can do is you can have a store that has those packs, and then you can have a store that has, like, you know, you can pay a premium for guaranteed loot. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what I think should have been done. But... You know, I guess that's how they keep you hooked. I'm not... Well, you know, it was probably EA that made them do that, so... But Bioware's kind of gone down the shitter lately. And I still, for the life of me, cannot finish Dragon Age Origins, because that game, I feel like I just messed up too much in the beginning, so now it's taking me forever to finish. I think I'm on the last mission where you run into that city, I can't remember. Durham? The, some Daenerim, maybe? I think that's it. I just can't finish that game. It is too freaking. And like the 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 you can like miss every attack even though I have I'm like almost done with the game. You still miss half your of course a rare that I don't need from a tribal chest. Maybe that's what I should do. Open more chests. All oh, these spinners. Are these things that slow me? Let's see what we got here. Oh, don't need it. I don't even know why I'm here. Isn't there another exit? Okay. Let's see what we got over here. Okay, leap slam's not working. Alright. Yeah! Level 44. Leap slam ready to level up. Leveled up the wrong thing, but you know what? That's been there for a while, so I'll take it. Uh, what else do we? What else could we possibly level? Oh, that's what I wanted. I wanted this elemental resistance stuff too. All right, so we got one more level, and then I'm really gonna be lost. Let's keep moving. There has to be an exit here somewhere soon. Nope, dead end. Fantastic. 
It's like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon all over again.